So I'm here at my favorite ramen shop. I can't tell you guys where it is because then you guys are gonna know where it's at. But I'm gonna get some bomb ramen. It's happy hour now. Okay? I want you to jump. Jump. Las gafas. Ew, ew, ew. What is that, the bitch? Oh. Hey. What the fuck are coming in too, motherfucking hot? Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Que onda? Que onda? Que onda? Um, today is Friday. Every time I say, like, the day, I always feel like, you know, like those... Um, reporters or whatever. <laughs> Fun fact, you know, when I was little, I always dreamt. Well, I didn't always, but I I used to really wanted to be a. Well, this gloomy as hell. I wanted to be a news reporter, <laughs> and then I grew up realizing that if you're not white in this like country, <laughs> you can't do that. So, yeah, because of, like, this is the thing. Like, if I wanted to become a news reporter. I would have to like tone down like who I am just so I can fit this like generic um, broadcaster type of persona. You know what I mean? Because a lot of like broadcasters are like super white and I didn't want to do that. Now, and I don't want to learn how to talk like this just so I can get paid. And <laughs> I'd rather have my own channel where I talk quite the hell I want to talk and I do what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, what was I saying? Tita. Yeah, so today is Friday, November 3rd. So for those who have been following me, my birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm actually going home um, right now. I literally just woke up from a nap. And please don't mind this fucking pimple because I always get like, I've tried to pop this pimple and it left it really bloody. So don't don't pick your face, you guys. Like just lesson learned. Anyways, um, I'm headed off to my parents' house because I would like to celebrate my birthday with my family and have some cake and you know say hi to my nephews and nieces and you know all that good stuff um and then i can you know have a little fun and celebrate my birthday on my own you know what i mean so it's always cool to go out and do what you want to do but i think family is always important and it's always nice to celebrate with your family and you know do nice things with them so um, that's why i'm doing the hassle of driving home on a Friday night at like 6 p.m. I'm probably not gonna get home until like 8. And I told everybody that I'd be home like at 6.30, but they have to understand that I live in Irvine and it's not super easy getting home so quickly. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm turning 23. I always, I feel like I talk about the same stuff. Hi, my name is Kevin. I do YouTube and <laughs> I just graduated and today's my birthday. I feel like I say the same things all the time. So I'm so embarrassed. I cannot stand people who constantly have to like dance. Like people like, I'm not about to sound like a hater. I get it. Like, cool. You know, you're dancing because you want to like, you know, do your groove and you want to, you know, do what you got to do. But it's just like, you don't have to be dancing everywhere you go. Like, you don't got to be in the parking lot. Like, we get it. It's like, it's like the same thing with, like, people who know how to sing. And they're always like, oh, oh, oh. Like, okay, you're at a library now. You, you don't need to do that. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, I'm turning 23. And I'm super excited. I'm super thankful. So, I kind of wanted just to vlog a little bit of, like, you know, the whole experience. You guys can come with me. So, you guys have a more, like, an intimate. Bitch, hold up. Hold on. This bitch right here. Okay, Becky and what? Uh, yeah, I, I'm recording and what? Okay, this is my job, girl. The same way you gotta work at McDonald's, girl. This is my job. So you want a smart again? Damn, I'm tired of people. Everyone always gives me like this look, and I don't know if I'm just cranky. I'm not finna go. Fuck this. Like I don't know. People just constantly give me like the weird stare. Like I. <laughs> Anyways, so I don't take it. I don't take shit from everybody. Anyways, what was I was saying. So I'm like super thankful that um, I've been able to make it to another year. Hopefully, <laughs> my birthday. I was born at eight in the morning, and fun fact, like I was born through a C-section, so I'm not like a normal baby. <laughs> um, so technically, my birthday's not until November fourth at eight a.m. in the morning. But you know, 
whatever politics you know what i mean so um what was i gonna say what was i gonna say so that makes me scorpio the fun fact is that my birthday <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to come out on November 4th. So here's a fun little fact, cause nobody knows about this. And you know, let me give you a little, a little bit, a little glimpse of my life. So um, my mom was actually had me through C-section. And so it was basically an appointment. Like it was, it wasn't even like a natural birth. So I probably wasn't even done developing yet. So my birthday was just kind of chosen. They were like, oh, well we have, we have an opening for doctor, whatever to rip out my mom's stomach on Friday, November 4th. So, um, yeah, today's tomorrow, Saturday. So I think last year would have been exactly perfect. Anyways, so um, I was scheduled at like eight in the morning or something like that. And I was I was taken out from my mother's room through C-section. And because um, I think I was taken out too early, I still had water in my lungs. So I was actually in an incubator for a whole entire month. So I was in the hospital until like December. And then my parents finally got to take me home and everyone was really sad because they thought I wasn't gonna make it because I was a tiny, well, I wasn't tiny, but I still wasn't ready. Y'all took me out too, too early. Like, you know, I was barely baking, getting my juices flowing and y'all already took me out. So that's a fun fact. So yeah, it's really nice to like, you know, be able to make it to another year. Um, my life isn't crazy. <laughs> Not super crazy. Let me just like be straight up and say like, you know what? I've lived a very like privileged life from all the things that I do have. Okay, where the hell? I'm going to turn here. I'm trying to like vlog and whatever. Um, I want to say that I'm really thankful for um, the good things about my life, you know? So I'll give you that. <laughs> But I think I think I'm just really I'm I'm really lucky and I'm really thankful of the things that I've been able to accomplish today and, and I've only been able to be where I'm at today only because of my predecessors. So like a big shout out to my family and my lineage. I think the one person I always think about on my birthdays is my grandma. Um because had she never decided to come to this country, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have been able to like speak English. I wouldn't even exist, right? So if it wasn't for my grandma's sacrifice to want a better life, not only for her, but for her children and for her like future lineage, um, it was up to her to be this predominant figure that just, you know, defied all barriers and adverse you know all, like all these obstacles that she had to face for us to be here in this country so i think a lot of like what i do every day is it's just kind of like that continuation of like okay so my grandma did the hard part you know she had to like you know come to this country without um having anything establish herself here so now it's my turn to continue on that like drive and lineage so when i see successful uh first generation uh latin x individuals it's so it's so heartwarming because i'm just like dang like like 60 years ago we were still living in a technically we're, we're coming you know we lived in a foreign country where we didn't have anything does that make sense so when i see people who are like me doing well it makes me really happy and it, it only like makes myself want to work harder for my future and yeah, so I guess that's just like a, a big reason why I do whatever I do. This whole YouTube thing has been like such an amazing blessing. I, I've, I've always wanted to do YouTube, but I never thought I'd have the courage to actually do it. So having the ability to open up my, like open up my life to the world, which is something that I don't like to do, has been really scary yet humbling at the same time. And I've been really, really happy and like to know that people actually like me for me. Um, of course, like when I do make videos, you know, sometimes it's very like upbeat and happy and lively. But I think a lot of the times I've been able to express myself and really be myself. I am a very like, you know, deep philosophical type of person. And I've been able to show that side of myself on social media. And it, a lot of people have been really uh, receptive to it. And it's been a positive experience. So it's like, thank you for listening to me every time I rat. And thank you for just letting me open up and be myself on camera. And I don't know what I'm saying. And I feel like I'm getting, a, I feel like I'm accepting some speech or something, but um, I'm really thankful and happy to be alive every single day. And I think I just wanted to make this video as kind of like, like just a document you know 
my thankfulness and I'm really happy to be here. So thank you guys for supporting me. And yeah, so let me just go ahead and get home safe and I will vlog uh, when I get home, okay? So see y'all there. It's like sick, it's 5.57 .50, right now. I'm gonna probably take a toll road because I do not wanna sit on the 91 freeway for six years. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Imagine this. Oh, imagine they, the they do it right in front so, of your face. So this yeah. is my cake. Um, I like how I bought my own cake. Oh, um, all right. The lady at the thing, she was just oh. getting the thing, and she was oh, like, Carter, Carter. How's that Jay's? But she did a good job, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did a good job. She did a good job. Wow. Um, I want my money back. <laughs> oh, we got a little pain. <laughs> Jesus, I burned my thumb. Make it, man. Make it, more. Are you watching this, Abby? Okay, ready? Oh, ready? One, yeah. two. Three. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to Kevin. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yay! Go for it. Okay. Wait, I didn't make a wish. Okay, ready? Last enough. Uh, so happy birthday to me. Today's finally my birthday, and I'm here at like Huntington Beach, I guess. I como que no vamos a estar aquí porque aquí no vamos a probar bikinis. Y me siento como a little like out of the loop. So I got some coffee. Bitch, here's your pro tip. Y'all want to know something? If y'all ain't trying to spend a lot of money, take some cookies from damn home. I got these at at the store. Super cheap. So I got um. This coffee, it tastes like uh, stuff in here. No, I'm just kidding, it's pretty good. It's like some vanilla lavender shit. And um, yeah, thanks for my sissy for getting me this for my birthdays. Thanks. Thanks, Mike and Yvette. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. I come to, but just because this is like a Mexican Oaxaqueño type, I'm gonna support my community. So, this is the restaurant here located in LA, and this is my first drink of the night. This is like some mangoñada drink, and um, by the taste of like what I just tried right now, they gave us like some appetizers, like some tortillas, like some mole. So, I got mole of all types. So, let's try this. This looks so good. So all of the food. All these kinds of moles to try out. So I'm not gonna vlog anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. So thank you so much for watching my vlog. I'm gonna enjoy my the rest of my birthday. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I love you guys so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, later. Stupid bitches. Okay, bye. Yeah, I want you to jump. Jump.